Requirements to the new middle-range airliner were formed in 1963. The flight characteristics of the new aircraft were supposed to combine the takeoff and landing features of AN-10, the speed of TU-104 and the range of IL-18. The new aircraft was finally supposed to oust those three machines. The project was started in the Tupolev Design Bureau. The aircraft was identified as TU-154. According to designers' tradition, the number ended in a lucky four. For the first time, this design bureau developed a civil aircraft not on the basis of a military machine, but from scratch. From the cost-efficiency point of view, an aircraft of this class had to have two engines. From the point of view of safety, it had to have four. The Tupolevs chose the compromising three engines variant. The layout was unique. Such was the American Boeing 727 and the British Trident. TU-154 radically differed from other Soviet passenger airliners. None of them had such a powerful high lift. Slats, triple slotted flaps, spoilers, the wing represented the most sophisticated construction. The test has started. The wing of this modern aircraft is equipped with numerous elements. How such high lift wing will interact with the airstream? A wind tunnel test will help determining the most efficient form and elements of the wing. The airliner's regular service started in February 1972 and was dedicated to the Air Flot's anniversary. By the end of the 70s, this airliner was produced in such a quantity that it became an image of the national aviation. By that time, the world was hit by energy crisis. Fuel prices went drastically up. Fuel efficiency became the main requirement for all civil aircraft. TU-154 was upgraded in this respect as well. With new engines, it not only got its new definition TU-154M, but its flight career continued. Having lived through all the historic thresholds together with its country, in the beginning of the new century TU-154 remains the most widely used national aircraft.